PvP Arena in Forge of Empires. As of today, Monday, July 13th, 2020, the PvP Arena is playable on the beta server. A release date for the player worlds has not yet been announced. This may also depend on the testing process. As announced in the magazine, the new lighthouse can be found in the northeast of the city. A click on it brings an info screen with the first important information. The PvP arena is an ongoing event with weekly rewards. Only active participants receive rewards. After two weeks of inactivity, a player loses his progress in the PvP arena. The first action is to occupy a defensive army. This is not identical to the city defense. Only players who fill this defensive army with units can participate in the PvP tournament. I once meant my defense army with 8 stealth tanks in the Tomorrow Era. So from now on I can be attacked during the tournament. If I defend myself successfully, I will receive PvP ranking points and move up in the ranking list. If I lose, I lose ranking points and drop down in the ranking list. For this defensive army, the bonuses of the city defense apply. The bonuses of the Basilius Cathedral, the Deal Castle, the Terracotta Army, the Tactician's Towers, the Ritual Flames and the Watchfires, as well as various event buildings with attack or defense bonuses for the city defense, are especially effective here. Then I define a first but not final team as my attack army. The bonuses of the Statue of Zeus, the Cathedral of Aachen, the Castel del Monte, the Terracotta Army, the Sentinel Tower, as well as various event buildings with attack or defense bonus for the attacking army are relevant for this. After these first settings, I am in the actual PvP arena window. From here, I can now attack other players offered to me as possible opponents. Each such attack costs one attempt. You can see that the list is currently filled completely with five attempts. We want to experience these five attacks together. I choose the top opponent because he would bring me 100 ranking points in case of a victory, but the bottom opponent only 50. The poor guy is still in the late middle ages. With his indicated bonuses of 20% attack and 110% defense, he certainly doesn't stand a chance. I assume that this is due to the special starting phase and that in the future such big discrepancies between ages and bonuses will not occur anymore. But in the beginning everything has to settle down. With one click, I'm then in the familiar window for the army organization. Now I could change the initially defined attack army, but that is not necessary in this case. The most decisive insight, you cannot fight manually. So the extremely unfavorable handling of rogues is now the same for both sides. This means that I will change my initially defined defense army again later, because rogues now make a lot of sense in the defense. Unlike to the normal city defense, I will use a stealth tank and seven rogues in the defense of the PvP arena. But I'll change it later. First of all, I'll continue with a started attack. Auto battle. That's it. There's no way to look at the automatic battle process in order to gain insights for future better teams from the sometimes very modest handling of the units by the computer. So you can't see anything except the result. As expected, I won against that poor guy of the late Middle Ages. So now I received 100 points on top. What works once, works again. This time 
it is an opponent from the progressive era, so again several ages below me, but worth 100 points. I quickly exchange the two injured and again automatic battle. Now the topmost opponent offered to me is from the Space Age Mars. There I have no chance with my Tomorrow Era units. The second one is even from the Space Age Asteroid Belt. Also, not my preferred choice. Then the opponent from the Tomorrow Era with only 50 points is better. Her very modest combat bonuses should make victory very likely for me. I replace a wounded unit and go. So far, three fights for a total of 250 points. Let's continue. The top opponent offered is again a player from the late Middle Ages. I don't think I'll ever have it that easy again. I replace the wounded unit, auto battle. The fourth opponent comes from postmodern era. This is the first one to actually have combat bonuses worth mentioning. Unfortunately, that's too many ages away. This poor guy doesn't stand a chance replacing the wounded units and auto battle. So now I've used up my five attempts and in four hours I shall receive the next. After five fights I have won 450 points and am now on 17th place in the ranking. But oops! 4 times 100 points plus 50 points plus my 6000 starting points should make 6450 but there are only some 6,350. 100 points loss? A look into the log reveals the reason. During my attacks, I was defeated twice by the player V. Vredny. He is in the Space Age Mars. Against him, I am as hopeless as that poor guy from the late Middle Ages was against me before. The fact that he can take me twice as an opponent is probably due to the fact that I have risen in the ranking parallel to him. And in addition, there are not so many players in the ranking right after the start of this new feature. So this is all still a somewhat special situation at the very beginning. That will settle down, but that's clear. Whether online or offline, whether actively fighting against others or not, you can be attacked by other players at any time and often and you lose points with every defeat. But in the case of a victory, you get some. In the global ranking, there is now a new tab for the PvP arena. As you can see, I've been overtaken by other players in terms of points and slipped down. There will be a lot of movement in the very beginning. And what do you receive for successfully playing in the PvP arena? I once clicked the offered weekly reward. A placement on one of the ranks 21 to 50 would then be rewarded in four ways next Monday. First of all, medals which will be especially appealing to newer players and will be linked to the weekly rewards offered by the PvP Towers. Then a random one of five possible prizes from a box, including coins, supplies, potions and forge points. Then two random units of the current age. And finally another box, which also contains more attractive prizes, in addition to potions, a plus one kit, goods and diamonds. What happens to the PvP towers now? They are simply gone. Instead, there are some coins and supplies in these sectors. With the introduction of these new features, players will immediately receive these new rewards for PvP towers they have already conquered. You don't have to do anything for them. And that goes for everyone, including those who don't participate in the PvP tournament.